<laughs> it looks like I'm too shy to take the picture with you. <laughs> so I'm just yeah, hiding behind your blanket. <laughs> You're under my little blanket. Oh no, I'm scared. You're like the IKEA people. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Bro. <clears throat> so we we've had like a shit ton of IKEA furniture delivered to our place. Cause we got like our countertops for our desk delivered. And we're not like at the place. Ikea has to call you at least three times, even though we can let them in the fucking door. They have to call us and, and be like, um, can you let us in? We don't know how the door works. Uh, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll literally buzz you in right now. Buzz them in. Then they come in. Then they call again and say, well, what about we need to get in your place now? And we're we're, we're scared. All right, I'll, so scared. I'll fucking buzz you in my 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 door as well. And they're like, well, okay. And then they put it in the fucking apartment. And then they call again and say, well, now we have to take a picture of it. And they take a picture of it. Dude, this is at like 10 a.m. Like, I'm barely awake. This has happened like one time for her, two times for me in the past like few days. Every mm -hmm. single time, there are at least, we cannot get a single delivery without IKEA calling us at least three to four times each time. Mm -hmm. And they always started the exact same. We have your package, but we're scared. Scared. Can you can you please talk us in? Oh, it's too dark in there. Can you turn on the nightlight? We're scared. Yeah, they are like vampires, exactly. Yeah, you gotta invite them in. You have to fucking invite them in. We're scared out here. We want to stay with your package and take a picture. <laughs> can we have some time with the package? We're gonna miss it a lot. Yeah, we want to turn with the package now. <laughs> All right, you guys can have fucking five minutes. Okay. How about one, one more minute? All right, you don't have to fucking call me for... Just just stay in my fucking house. And then we we're thinking that, like, I, I mean, is, is Ikea's... Like, why do they have to take the picture, first of all? I mean, I guess security, but, like... Yeah. Nobody else fucking does that. Like, we were thinking yesterday, too. Do they need to just have one Ikea person stay with the package? For like the entirety of that furniture's existence like you just have an ikea person sitting in your corner for the rest of your fucking life observing if you're enjoying the product or not like, it's the guy standing in the corner <laughs> some fucking swedish guy yeah it's like oh hey uh thanks for having us over for the party eh? Thor, who's the who's the tall blonde guy in the corner Oh, that's Sonder Floaten. He's some fucking <laughs> Swedish guy that, from Ikea, and he just has to stay here for a while. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and he just doesn't say anything. He does, like He's supposed to be reporting on the Ikea shit, but he just doesn't do anything. He's just in the corner. He doesn't take any pictures or like give any updates to Ikea. He's just like the keeper of the, the Swedish sacred furniture. Has to make sure it's in good hands. Yeah. It's an ancient artifact. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jesus Christ. So, dude, if you try to order anything from IKEA, just I mean, it's like a like a needy, like a needy significant other or something like that, dude. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, just like me. No, they they could call me less than you do, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ! In like one day. <laughs> I forget. I, I called him babe on the phone one time when they called the last time because I just assumed we were fucking dating at that point because they're calling me so goddamn much. Yeah, they do the fucking like good morning call. Yes. Hi, babe. Good morning. I have your packets and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, hey, so I'm just waking up. What's up? <laughs> the fucking like forest gravelly morning voice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just put the package anywhere, man. I don't even care. <laughs> like, honestly, exactly what happened yesterday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and, like, we were putting shit together all day today. And, like, we were chilling on Discord, like, while we put stuff together. And I'm like, oh, hey, babe, sorry, Ikea's calling me. 
And I have to like yeah. get off, answer the phone, hang up, and be like, oh, fuck, it's Ikea. Two seconds later, oh, sorry, babe, Ikea's calling me again. Yeah, not even an exaggeration. God damn, dude. <laughs> they're so fucking needy. Like, chill they out, bro. are, dude. They're so fucking needy. <laughs> Oh, he's talking to Ikea again. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably talking to other girls. Me on the phone with Ikea for the fucking eighth time. <laughs> Me on the phone with like, <laughs> Zupin Narpin. <laughs> Sonder Fluten. <laughs> Dude, and they, na and no offense, I don't know if this, I mean, no offense, but what are all the fucking names of the Swedish furniture, dude? I know, they just, like, what the fuck is a, fight. what the fuck is Marabo, dude? Just call it a gray fucking couch, dude. <laughs> Big fucking gray couch. <laughs> <laughs> just, just call it what it really is, dude. A big fucking gray couch that we're going to get pissed off putting together. <laughs> All right, put the real fucking name, dude. Not this, whatever that. <laughs> That's what it means in Swedish. That's what Marabo <laughs> translates to. <laughs> yeah, dude, just give it the fucking real name. It's, it's called the big fucking gray couch that I'm going to have to call my girlfriend and say, hey, babe, I don't think it's going to line up because I think we got the one with the wrong side. And then she's going to have to say, oh, no, you can unscrew the bolts and put it in the other way. Oh, thanks, babe. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks, dude. I'm so glad we figured that out, by the way. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was fucking sick, dude. 